Which are the best Dragon Ball Fighters characters, based on their abilities and opinions of the best players around the world? Here we managed to come up with a list of the 10 best fighters according to all the information collected from one of the most competitive fighting games throughout the past years. This is the top 10 best characters in Dragon Ball Fighters. Please keep in mind that this is a ranking completely based on my personal opinion, and obviously this top can vary throughout the time. Please let me know in the comments down below which are the characters that you consider the best ones in the game. Without further ado, let's begin. Number 10. Jiren At the beginning, Jiren arrived to the game with a lot of inconveniences, with very predictable assists and an improbable damage. However, after some major updates throughout these last years, Jiren has become one of the favorites not only for casual players but also for competitive ones. His attack range was improved considerably, so was his damage. He offers a lot of combo possibilities and even though at first his level 1 and 3 could seem simple, the truth is that the amount of damage that he deals is too high. Number 9. GT Goku Even though he's the smallest character in the whole roster to date, he's a character with skills that a very few have. The fact that he is that small gives him a certain advantage over your opponent's counterattacks, especially when you're on the ground. He has some moves related to the crosshair and key blast that allows him to move throughout the whole screen with relative ease and speed. He has very useful auto combo to execute side switch attacks, apart from that he has an absurd amount of mixes and the chance to keep your opponent under pressure constantly with some assists. At last but not least, his level 3 spirit bomb is one of the most damaging attacks in the entire game. Number 8. Blue Goku That's right, we have two consecutive Gokus on the list. The Super Saiyan Blue version of Goku is one of the most feared ones in Dragon Ball Fighters. He has a lot of mobility and a pretty wide range of attacks in order to catch you in a combo very easily. His level 1 is one of the easiest to chain with, allowing you to finish combos in many different ways. Another special move includes the teleport. Depending on how you use it, it will put Goku either in front or behind your opponent. This move is pretty difficult for the opponent to react to it and anticipating where the next attack is coming from. He also has a command grab using his fingers and blowing up the opponent, creating another opportunity for a combo with the rebound. He also has a level 3 that can be used as a level 5, stretching the animation and obviously dealing an incredible amount of damage. Number 7. Base Vegeta A character with an insane loop capacity that can be connected more than 4 times in a row and you have the possibility to finish the combo in the way you prefer after doing the loop. The damage dealt is also one of the most noticeable ones in the game and to be honest, Vegeta builds up bars more quickly than the majority of the roster. It's honestly almost noticeable when he managed to have that much bar in a short amount of time. Consider one of the most effective ones in national championships and in ranked matches. Vegeta on his base version could not miss on this list. Number 6. Base Goku We have another Goku on the list and this is probably my favorite character right now. This character arrived along with the base version of Vegeta and at the beginning Vegeta was the one that seemed more reliable in a competitive way. But we have some major differences. The base Goku assist is probably one of the best ones in the game so far, with an incredible damage and range that could be barely sensed. His command grab is almost impossible to react. He has one frame moves with a pretty high comeback average average per match, and a great damage including also the spirit bomb. This is a very complete character that could not be on another position on this list. Number 5. Kid Buu This is one of the most reliable and at the same time hated characters in the game, but his reputation is justified. Kid Buu has a lot of special skills that can be mixed with standard combos. He has long range attacks and key blasts with pretty decent speed. Obviously he moves at an incredible speed, and as a good example of overpowered fighting game characters, the damage is considerably high than the other characters, especially with the level 1 and 3. There's not much to say about this character. He is simply OP. Number 4. Team Gohan Super Saiyan 2 This Gohan version is known by many different things, but especially because of his Ki Blasts, as they are the fastest in the entire game. Not one of the fastest, the fastest. He has great mobility throughout the scenario with his combos, and every single combo combined with any special attack of his own has a devastating damage. Due to this, almost any opponent that is facing Gohan Super Saiyan 2 is typically at the corner dealing with all the pressure, not to mention his level 3 that can be converted to a level 5. 
Number 3. Broly. This is an overpowered character in all the aspects. He can deflect any key blast thanks to his barrier. He has great damage with his normal combos. He has command grabs, but especially his damage is unbelievable. Very rewarded for very little effort. You don't have to be an expert to be a very capable fighter with Z Broly. Number 2. Gotenks Super Saiyan 3 How is it possible that a character deals this ridiculous amount of damage with just a couple of special moves? Gotenks is a very feared character due to his mixes. If you know how to use your attacks correctly mixed with the assists, the opponent is pretty much screwed. There's just no other way to say it. These tornado loops are just brutal. And his assist is also very effective, so he's a useful character even as a secondary one. Before we wrap up with the first place, let's see some honorable mentions. Master Roshi. Trunks. Android 21. Super Broly. Number 1. UI Goku. It could be obvious for the ones that are not that familiarized with the game, they could be like, oh of course, the protagonist and the one with the most powerful transformation in the series, at least on the anime, has to be the best actual fighter in this game, right? Well, indeed, but it is for technical reasons obviously. UI Goku is not the type of character that has everything, but he does have too much, if you ask me. He has a great assist, great damage, combo variety, incredible mobility, a lot of special moves that counterattack the ones executed by the opponent. You can see Kamehameha's, dashes, lighting punches, you see a lot happening on the screen when you play with this character. He was very demanded to get nerfed several months ago, and they did it, but he's still too strong from my point of view. In my personal opinion, this is the strongest character of the entire game.